And welcome back to the strategy guides with more Fantasy Star 3 now in progress. May Oroku protect you. Okay. So I did some level grinding and, uh. uh that's right. Okay. I did some level grinding. I got a cyborg. I got, uh. Why is this constantly disconnecting? Freaking. That. Yeah, what the. Uh. Yeah, it just keeps doing that. Is the cord all the way in the PS3? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it wasn't charging before. That's what was happening. Alright, so I stocked them all up on monomates and a few antidotes, because even though we got a spellcaster, she, her TP is rather low. Oh, speaking of which, I want to mention something. Every technique that a character is going to learn, they start with. The numbers beside them are not how much TP it costs, but rather the level of the technique oh, and its effectiveness. Oh, that's, that's different. Oh, uh, by the way, Anti doesn't always... Anti and Rever do not always work. Anti is supposed to cure poison and Rever is... He revives people, but at lower levels, it's a gamble as to whether or not it'll work. Higher levels are more likely to work. And Rever is a lot less likely to work in battle. Okay, there Welcome we go. Welcome aboard. There's some, there's someone holed up in the cave on the island. I hear he stole a gem. Oh, that is important. It looks like Noah's Ark. <laughs> <laughs> See the place down there in the muck? Our oldest legend, our oldest legends say, the evil dark force is trapped there by the sword of Orokio. SPOILER ALERT! DARK FORCES IN THIS- AS IF YOU COULDN'T TELL- HE WAS IN THE FIRST TWO! HE'S GONNA BE IN THIS ONE! HE'S- I WANNA SAY, DON'T CALL IT MUCK. THAT'S PROBABLY THE BEST LOOKING WATER I'VE EVER SEEN IN THIS SERIES SO FAR. WHOA! I THINK IT'S SO RED THAT MY freaking EYES ARE BURNING. <laughs> WOW, THAT'S A LOT OF- THAT'S BRIGHT RED. OH! BRIGHT WHITE! Okay, I want to take some time here to explain these. Oh, and this battle, this music's going to get really annoying really quickly because it doesn't actually play We music. don't have the music up high, then. Yeah. This is the run command. <laughs> this is what you use to, uh... Is if you want to give... Yeah, it's on four. If you want to give commands to characters, pick this, that's attack, techniques, defend, item... That will make a character do whatever you tell them to do until the battle ends. This is just for one turn. Wow. By the way, the enemies go in a row system. The little enemies are all in the front row, and then there's big enemies that appear in the back row. Huh. We'll probably... Ah, there! Whoa. See? Oh yeah, I see. You cannot attack back row enemies with short-range weapons. Long-range weapons like guns, bows, slicers, and attack techniques can get... Come on, in a way. Because of this... Now, in Fantasy Stars 2 and 4, you can only ever fight two different types of enemies at once in a, in a battle. Mm -hmm. But in this game, you can actually fight around up to four different enemy types I, in a battle. I like how the monsters kind of just hop up or rise up from the ground instead of materializing like they did in uh, Fantasy Star 2. No one in your party can carry more items. Uh... Four? Use some monomates. What? Found a die, mate. It's time for you to die, mate! Sniffy, sniffy. Freaking. So, uh, okay, yeah, I think I have to go... North, I think? It's like, you know, if you look at it right, these look like some type of monster head with the mouth here and the eyes. <laughs> I hear. I think it's supposed to be the cave. Yeah, scene. I know, but it just, it like, if you look at it the right way, it looks like something else. Oh, no, I don't. I've noticed that a lot about these old sprite games. Yeah. So our goal here is to find the guy that took the gem and take it back or something. Okay. 
And we're fighting lots of these things. Those enemies can poison. Like in Fantasy Star 2, poison just means you can't heal until the poison's been taken care of. It gets really annoying, though, when Anti just, just keeps refusing to work, which is why I have some antidotes. Hmm. Oh, one thing about the battle music, the battle music changes dynamically depending on how well the computer thinks that you're doing. So, if you're doing well, it'll play one music. If the, if the monsters are supposed to be trouncing you, even though sometimes they don't, They'll play another music if they're really... I just wanted to say that that probably was funny from that person's point of view. It's like, ah, oh, you've come to see me at... Why are you fighting those little things? <laughs> <laughs> Lyle. Hi. Uh, Hi, I'm Lyle. Yes, I do have the sapphire. Don't really need it, so you're welcome to it. I'd like to join you in your adventure... But I have some other things to do now. See you around! It's like, that almost turned into a Fantasy Star 2 moment. I'd like to join your quest, but I can't buy. <laughs> <laughs> he will join us later, actually. He had, and he does have a story reason for wanting to join us. Yay! That's a big improvement over freaking Fantasy Star 2. Yeah, almost everybody that joins our party has a story reason for wanting to. And some of them even get, like, more than one line. Wow. I don't have any escape pipes, and there's no techniques for instantly exiting dungeons. So I'm just going to, uh... That, the, those cliffs, those rock walls right there? Mm -hmm. They look like rice cakes. <laughs> rice cakes! Rice cake cave! It's the rice cake cave! Delicious. Delicious rice cake. How's our mess doing? Stat. Oh, 600. Mess. <laughs> 651 mess. <laughs> Whoa, we got quite a mess. Yes, we do. I'm getting really kind of sick of these enemies, actually. I am too! <laughs> like, hey, we're back! I don't care. <laughs> I don't like using up item space for. No one in your party can carry items! Of course they cannot! Man, I hate limited item space. Everyone found a shield. I found this shield that I won't be using! <laughs> because, like in Fantasy Star 2, a sword is a two-handed weapon, so you can't use shields with swords. Uh, well, you know what? Judging by the swords from PSO, no wonder they're two-handed weapons. Yeah. If only there was, like, some kind of saber weapon or something. <laughs> Kill the w weird moose thing. <laughs> Actually, I think they're called moose. I think they should be called mutate, a moose-tated, because they're <laughs> mutated. mutated moose. Well, at least they look like a mutated moose. Indon. Uh, when enemies attack... Their names will appear at the bottom, and I'll tell you how much damage they do. And then the names of our characters yeah, that are... Indon, you can go and get out of here. <laughs> I was trying to think of a funny button with her name, but... Indono. Indono. Well, I am almost out of here, I believe, I think. Yes, there's the stairs! The stairs to freedom! The rice cake <laughs> stairs to freedom. Shit, mountains. Mountains of shit. Crappy, crappy mountains. Let's go on Noah's Ark. <laughs> Ironically, Noah isn't in this game. No, this is the only game without any form of Noah Lutz. Hmm. Oh, well, we still got time in the episode. Yeah, we still got five minutes, so... Well, I'm going to savey save save and the item that we got, the sapphire, lets us enter a cave, because otherwise the cave is locked. Saving done. Yeah, I think the Genesis original versions, like, saved almost instantaneously, but, uh... Well, actually, Fantasy Star 4... Uh, yeah, they, they pretty much save instantly, but because this is, uh, you know... The... This is not a cartridge. Yeah... 
Oh, it's a widow rabbit. It's gone. <laughs> it's like, and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around the trees. You know, I'm gonna wait until you get. Uh, and they're gone. <laughs> that cloud effect looks really cool, but why do I have a feeling I'm gonna get sick of it? Sick of it eventually. Oh, you yeah. mean like the pipes and two? Yeah, you know that grassy field kind of looks like a still ocean, and it's green. It's like a still green ocean. T take a look at it when you get out. Seriously, it looks like there's waves and stuff. <laughs> Waves and stuff. The sapphire glows, and you are inside. Welcome to the caves. This actually makes me think of a place in. Whoa! It's a weird snail chihuahua. Snail chihuahua. Like, you were saying? Like this place looks like something from Fantasy Star Two. Notice how uh, this cave is strangely all technological and crap. Oh yeah, that's right, I didn't even think- Whoa! What the frick? Someone took a dead <laughs> chicken, hung it upside down, put a wolf's head on it- That's and, a lion head, actually. And put a- Huh. Put a lion's head on it, and put wings on it, and it's just hanging there. <laughs> what the heck? My gosh, none of these fantasy star games disappoint with weird enemies. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just it hangs up there. No, that seriously looks like a freaking. Wolf. I always thought it looked like- because I see a mane. Yeah, well, wolves don't have manes, but they do have a lot of, um, thick fur around that part. Oh. Uh, I, I wouldn't They, they have a lot of my owl's, uh, best Oh, uh, these armor. guys! Ah, They're so BORING! <laughs> yeah. They die quickly, though, so. I'll admit, I actually don't really have that much idea of exactly where I'm going, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Most of these dungeons are one floor, so it's not that hard to figure that, out where I'm going. I actually like that. I really like that compared to the insanity that was the dungeons in Fantasy Star 2. And here we are in the land of Dragonia. Actually, let me use this monitor real quickly. Okay, you see the uh, the ball, the sphere circle, all the way to the left there? Yeah. That's Landon, where we came from. This is Dragonia, and the one in the middle, which we're going to go to next episode, that I... is Aridia. Okay, I just want to say something about that real quick. It looks like a bowling ball looking at a map of the planet. <laughs> it's like, this is what a bowling ball sees. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, someone looking out from the inside of a bowling ball. <laughs> well, yes, map of the planet. Hmm. Whoa, look at these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, goodbye, freaky birds. Okay, how much, um, is that it? Oh, okay, I'll be able to get the amount I need for, uh... All right. We're about 14 we're minutes. We're about 14, yeah. So if you want to talk to people... Um, we're all suffering from... We're all suffering from hunger and severe cold. Yeah. This area is not supposed to be filled with snow. This is Russell, stranger, a small fishing village. Thank you, signpost lady. The deadly winter came to haunt us without warning. We can't fish in a sea of ice. We're starving. Please help us before we all die. That's actually our next objective, but we have to go to Aridia to fix the weather here. Iridia. <laughs> Aridia. I it's... just always I'm always gonna think of Iridion when I hear of Iridia. Yeah, I was going to do Iridion 3D as my quickie after Fantasy Star 2, but uh, after that uh, plot twist at the end, I decided, you know what, I'd do uh, Vector Man because I just could tie it in better. We minstrels know much the ancient legends. My favorite one is th my favorite one tells of our tells of our people fleeing a terribly evil thing called Dark Force. The legend says we are the last survivors of a race that sailed between the stars. Wait, they actually got the name right for that? It's supposed to be Dark Force, isn't it? Yeah, it so was Dark Force in two. <laughs> no, so, wait, but it was, so it was just wrong in the first one? Yeah. Okay. 
Hello, Nurse Jenny. Nurse Jenny. Nurse Jenny. Nurse Jenny. Nurse Joy. Officer Jenny and Nurse Joy. I got she does have up. pink hair. Yes. And uh, that that's it for this episode. Next, oh, actually, before I go, um, I'm going to show the wares in the shops. Okay. Do and uh, I'll tell you what I'll be buying. Okay. Whoa! Look at this guy. So, we're going to buy two hunting claws for uh, Miu. I just like to pronounce her name that way, Miu. Mm-hmm. They give more attack and some defense to her. And the armor shop, and this is where most of our money is going to be eaten up here. Someone's making a racket outside. We're going to buy steel armor for Rise, hunting vest for Miu, and force boot for the both of them. And royal boot is way out of your price range, don't even bother. Okay. That's that's for later, because you'll come back to this town near the end of the game. Or... Okay. Anyways, that's it for this episode. See you guys later. Mm, rice cake clips!